The Invisiball helmet wall mount comes with everything you need to mount a football, baseball, hockey, or lacrosse helmet inside the box. Once you open up the box, you will find the helmet mount along with instructions, drywall mounts and screws, and then also a hex wrench. First thing that you want to do is set your mount to the side and take the wing nut off, off of the center stud. Then you take the compression plate off, put that over to the side. Now, once you determine what type of helmet you have and how you want to mount it, you're going to have to use the Allen wrench or hex wrench to adjust these studs on the side of the mount, up and down, depending on the profile of the helmet. Once those studs are in place, you're going to set the, the nylon cap back on top of the stud to protect the helmet once you're ready to mount. It is a good idea to place the helmet on the mount to see if it's going to be positioned as you want it once it's going to be put on the wall. Let's put this helmet on the wall. Place the helmet mount on the wall and mark where you're going to place your screws. Once that is done, Get your power drill with your 3 16 drill bit. Locate those marks. Next, you're going to take your drywall mounts and place those in the hole and hammer them into place. Make sure that you get your drywall mounts nice and flush. Once that's in place, change out your drill bit. Once that's ready, you can now put your screws into place. Leave a little bit of room to make sure you can get your, drywall, your helmet mount in place. Once it's in place, take your screwdriver and get the mount tight to the wall. Nice and snug. You want that mount to hold your helmet firmly into place. Take the helmet, put the center stud through the ear hole, and then you want to take your compression plate, put it up against the inside wall of the helmet, Hold it in place and then you take your wing nut and screw to, down on the end of the stud. Once everything's aligned and in place, you want to hold your helmet exactly where you want it. Keep tightening down the wing nut. That will put everything in compression and hel hold your helmet properly in place. Do not over tighten. Once it's snug, you can make your final adjustment with your helmet, put it in the exact position that you want, tighten down the compression plate, and this is what holds the helmet into the mount properly. Once it's snug, put an extra quarter turn on it to make sure it fits nice and tight, and now you have your helmet mounted on the wall.